Hi, my name is Roddy Roy and I'm a Cleveland photographer. We're actually at 55th and Marginal. It's a pier that I frequent and just like the locals, I come here to find something different, to look at life differently. It started off as, as a very curious space to come to and it has blossomed into this space where residents of Cleveland of all nationality come to, to find a peaceful time fishing. I usually come here and I walk around slowly with a camera and a lens. It takes time to create connection. It takes time to make somebody feel comfortable with you being in their relaxation space, in their space of, I want to get into my zen right now. I don't really need a camera shoved into my face. So I have no problems coming here and walking the length of maybe, we say, a hundred yards back and forth, just trying to find one or two images. I'm looking for a type of person who tells the story of coming here and fishing. It could be a guy who is down here with his beer. He just leaves his rods. He doesn't even care, but he's here to just let it go. Or the other guy who sits quietly by himself. He has his slow jams on and he's just lost in connecting with his walleye and his music. Or it's a, a woman who works in a factory, comes here from three to nine, just to unwind, just to leave the factory life. I've never met anybody yet who has said to me, don't photograph, don't come into this space. I came down here only because it was an attraction, only because for me, it was about trying to figure out what the culture of fishing in, in Cleveland was. And the more I delved into each particular fisherman's story, the more I got it's a place of peace away from Kinsman and East Cleveland. This one kid said to me that he would spend sometimes nights here. He would sleep, not necessarily sleep, but he would spend the whole night here. I asked him, what does he catch? He said, walleye. I said, do you eat walleye? Do you love walleye? He said, I don't eat fish. But I'm not in Kinsman. I'm not at a hunt with a hundred and, the hundred and thirtieth in that area. And so the more I come here, the more I hear stories of people coming here as if it is a, a place of refuge away from the gunshots and the horrors that they see in their neighborhoods. It's a sanctuary. I think one of the things I saw me doing with my photography was speaking about situations, people, conditions, things that I did not see in mainstream media. It gave my work purpose. And so when I moved to, to the United States, I found myself gravitating towards voices that were muted by the bright lights of, let's say, sports or the news that did not encapsulate the small man or the poor communities. I found myself gravitated toward these communities because I felt like with the platform that I was building, I could help to amplify their voices. I came to Cleveland about four years ago to do a, a story for the Cleveland print room in conjunction with the Cleveland Library. And they wanted an exhibition and they wanted to rejuvenate or restart their archives of Cleveland life. I remember coming to Cleveland every other weekend, driving around, and I realized that there were things here that I could photograph. I came here photographing the way I love to photograph, where I see an image, I introduce myself, I invite somebody, or I invite people into a series that I'm working with, 
we have a conversation, I get to know you within the 15 to half an hour that I'm with you, and we make a picture. Of all the states that I have worked in, lived in, Cleveland afforded me a space that made me feel like I was a photographer again. New York, beautiful place to, to photograph in. It felt oversaturated, not just with imagery, but with stuff that did not feel like New York anymore. Cleveland just felt like the place that I could dive into photography in the way that I've always felt like I wanted to photograph. That is part and parcel the reason why I came here. I want to be able to jump out of my car, photograph an image or make an image that I know will have impact a hundred years from now. I've always felt like photography was the thing that I used to go to be a better person, to be a better man, to be a better seer, to be a better philosopher, to be a better father. And this comes to the learning process. And I think photography has been the vehicle that has pulled me through these processes. Learning not to use the word shoot when referring to my cameras. Places sensitivity on the victims of gun violence. Photography is something I hold dearly and I do appreciate the way it has allowed me to be a better person. I've only ever caught one fish in my life, ever, and it was something this small. So, but I do understand fishing in terms of photography, the patience. Actually, whenever I talk to these guys, I say to them that me getting an image equates to you getting one fish. Like, I'm waiting, I'm waiting for that one fish to come into my frame. That's kind of like the joke here. When they see me coming, they go, oh, he's just fishing with his cameras.